Although Florida had another record setting tourism period in the first quarter of this year, those numbers could decline because of the growing threat of the Zika virus. Governor Rick Scott is pushing for federal officials to craft a plan dealing with the virus. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo has more on what local tourism officials have to say. Fernando Pitella is vacationing on the Sun Coast from South America, where the Zika virus is spreading rapidly, primarily through mosquitoes. So bug protection is now part of his daily routine. You have to stay the whole day applying so products on your skin to, to avoid the, the bugs. Also taking other precautions while in Brazil. We keep the, the windows and the door shut and with protection. It's something we're monitoring, we're aware of. With mosquito season approaching, president of Visit Sarasota County, Virginia Haley, has her own concerns about the virus and Florida's tourism. We want to make sure that any message we send is totally aligned with what the public health officials are telling the public. We will follow their leads on those areas. Even Governor Scott lobbying federal officials to come together on funding a plan. At least 48 pregnant women in the U.S. have tested positive for Zika. All cases linked to travel outside the U.S. Sarasota public health officials saying in a statement, the health and well-being of all residents and visitors to our county is the highest priority. We continue to look for opportunities opportunities to collaborate and share messages to ensure people know how to prevent mosquito bites and mosquito breeding. Haley says it's important for tourists and residents alike to stay vigilant and be aware of your surroundings. Just make sure wherever you're stand, staying does not have standing water. Uh, use uh, bug spray with DEET, cover yourself, uh, and particularly look for those times of the day when you're most likely to see mosquito activity, particularly right around sunset. Reporting in Sarasota, Dwayne Lindo, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.